Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Get Together Baller Wives Edition or Housewives Edition, however you want to say it. <laughs> and um, we are still in the London and Nico household and looks like London just finished up. I don't know why she's going upstairs to eat, but she is and uh, the kids are up and at them, but she ended up finishing up the Frank and beans that uh, the ladies had made when they were here. And for some reason, he's going up to go chat with her. But I know he's hungry, so I'm going to have him grab a serving. The kids have school today, so I want to make sure that they get nice and fit. Okay, no, child. You're not going to go get ice cream for breakfast. It's just not going to happen. All right. So she's, oh, she's in here talking to Dolce and was probably telling her good morning or what have you. And then uh, Nico just came in here to actually say good morning to her as well. And so we are going to go check on little Marley. Marley is going to age up today. I'm not sure when she's supposed to be aging up, but we're going to age her up anyway. And my plan is to have a big party for her over at the, um, wow. Now it is a lot that I have created and now I can't think of the name of it. Um, the lucky Zilla. <laughs> that one is, that's what it's called. She is going to, uh, throw her a party at the lucky Zilla. But in order for it to be successful, unfortunately, we can't just make a cake and have her come blow it out because she's a baby. So I'm going to age her up, get her all dolled up and dressed up, and then we're going to go as a group to uh, the Lucky Zilla. And um, as you recall on last time, they uh, did the little um, charity community service type event where they went and fed the homeless at two separate parks. And um, then London came home and donated a hundred simoleons to a uh, donate a, a charity that was called. Um, we still can't donate all, but uh, it was to a charity that was called um, Meals on Wheels. And um, yeah, it was it was kind of a oh he could donate. So let's see really quickly because thankfully we just did a hundred. But see Meals on the Move? Are you serious? It's the same one. Oh gosh, I kind of feel like, I wish there was a way we could like kind of track down and go on here and kind of like um, say something about it. I guess I could go online and nothing. Uh, I'll just have him go on online and study opponents for a little bit. But you know, London was very down and out about that because she thought that the event was a little bit stressful and it could have been a little bit more successful and it wasn't. Uh, as far as like being able to have... Um, enough people to feed and we only fed two and then my plan was to donate a hundred per person and we could only donate a hundred so you know it just worked out how it worked out I guess but she was a little bit disappointed by it but we're not are you really talking to the kid like that oh my gosh okay I'm gonna have her do some yoga routine she's gonna do some mind concentrating yoga because the baby is asleep oh yeah the baby is asleep leave her alone and Nico is up here cleaning up and doing some things around the house. So that's nice for him to do that. And unfortunately, we're going to probably get a ton of these emails and text messages about us becoming good friends with people because I had to, in order to do this little party deal, right, I had to kind of familiarize myself with Sims that we had met before, but now we don't know. So there is like a little cheat you can do, and I'm not going to do it again because it took forever for it to load. But if you do your... um cheat window do your testing cheats enabled and you type in something to the nate to the relate uh to the to the uh to the nature oh yeah <laughs> something to the point of oh here we go relationship dot introduce underscore sim underscore two underscore all underscore others you type that in and she will literally meet everyone in town this is everyone in town. <laughs> but one good thing about it is now I am friends, or at least I am acquaintances with the kids so that when it's time to throw the party later, I can um, have them meet us at the Chucky, I'm sorry, the, the oh my goodness, the Lucky Zilla um, to celebrate Marley's aging up. So that's pretty much all we're going to do on this episode because I really want to age her up and just kind of get uh, their little family done because they are done, done, done. I think three kids is quite a bit for them, especially given that um, they've had a little couple ups and downs. So if you're not familiar with the series, I know we're about to wrap up, but it kind of started off as, you know, London was new in town. She had just joined the Housewives Club, which used to be 
um, uh oh, <laughs> oh gosh, oh, which used to be um, moderated or you know ran by Teresa Perez. And, um, you know, London actually was able to, because there was another group in town, they were called the, um, the groupies. And their whole mission in life was to basically flirt and woohoo, just whatever you wanted to, whatever they wanted to do with the Hall of Famers. And they caused quite a disturbance. And the Hall of Famers, of course, is the football players. Nico Gordon is part of uh, the Windenburg Llamas. I'm going to repair this really quickly. Why is everything breaking in our house? And he just got electrocuted a couple of minutes ago repairing something, but whatever. Oh, she's falling asleep out here. That's cute. Um, but anyway, so I, I'm glad she's feeling a lot better, though. She really likes doing yoga. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a picture of this because this is quite funny. I've never seen a sim fall asleep from, um, uh oh, wrong way. I've never seen a sim fall asleep from, uh, from yoga. <laughs> I'm so serious. I've never seen a sim do that. But anyway, um, so London and Nico, oh gosh, she needs to take a shower. Okay, girl. Okay. You, you've stunk yourself up. You woke yourself up. You smell so bad. That is horrible. But, um, uh, anyway, long story short, uh, you know, the, the, the groupies kind of came in, they broke up Alyssa and Jason Landry's relationship and because Jason had a baby with uh, an, a, the one of the members I think her name was Raina if I remember correctly and then London I mean Nico had himself in a little trouble too and he ended up uh, getting uh, Dolce's mom pregnant whose name was Brittany Brittany pregnant um, who I just found out actually got remarried so let's check that out really quickly because she is actually married right now to Brandon Kerr and they actually have Ellie Kerr, and I think she's pregnant again. So I need to double check that because I think she's pregnant again. But um, yeah, this is the veins, and this is her mom. But anyway, long story short, and even though uh, you know Jason and Alyssa didn't make it, London and Nico found a way to kind of get it together. And Brittany, on the other hand, left Dolce on the doorstep. And it's funny, when Dolce first aged up, it was either Brittany or the sister, whose name I can't remember right now. They were always calling, trying to, they were coming by the house. They were trying their hardest to make amends um, as, as much as they could and be in her life. But it's just funny because it just, you know, it, then it just stopped. So now that Brittany's kind of moved on and she has a life and I know she's moved out and has a home and has a baby on the way and, and another child, it's like she's kind of put Dolce on the back burner. And like, that's why I keep saying I know I have a lot more I can do in this LP. So um, it's disappointing a little bit that I'm stopping it. But then it's kind of like I understand why I have to do it. So, you know, it is what it is. But um, that is like one of the dynamics of the group. And then because uh, Miss London here was able to kind of infiltrate the groupies and take over, uh, well, not take over, but kind of figure out a way to to uh, turn the table, so to speak, she got she solicited a couple girls and only one girl was successfully able to seduce and um, basically woohoo with Travis in a bush and Samantha walked in on him. And so that's when Samantha realized that the group was no good. She didn't want to deal with it anymore. And she ended up changing the rules in the group to just a single mingle type group. So that's all the ladies do now. They get together, they party, they drink, you know, they hang out, whatever. In the meanwhile, though, London definitely wanted Teresa to know, hey, if it wasn't for me, the groupies would have still been running amok and still doing whatever and taking over the town and, you know, just, you know, just basically ruining our lives. And so, um, you know, Teresa agreed and she decided to step down and let London become the leader. And one of London's goals was to basically own a group of eight people or well, eight people. And she did. So we finished her lifetime aspiration and she is completely done. And now as the leader of, um, the, hall, the Ballers Wives, <laughs> she's done at least three different charity events. We've gotten uh, a, um, what you call it? <laughs> We've gotten the clubhouse and like the relationships have gotten a lot better. So everything is just really, really good. So saying all that to say is this series has definitely went up and down and all around and there's been some happy endings. And of course, there's been some sad endings. Alyssa has uh, moved on since then and, you know, she's remarried and, 
you know, the couples are doing well. Uh, of course, Single and Mingle is still out there. I have no idea what they're doing. I don't even go and control them. But I do know that the group is still running rampant. But, you know, it's just one of those things where it's just kind of like it is time to kind of just wrap it up. But we, we jam-packed a lot into 64 episodes. So this is like the little, I guess, uh, series. What's it called? The finale before the finale? The, 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 I don't know, the pre-finale, I don't know. But either way, she's feeling super tense. I'm going to let her come down here and pop some popcorn. Actually, uh, yeah, I'm going to have her pop some popcorn. Let's have her cook, ooh, some caramel corn. And then we'll go watch, uh, as soon as she's finished with that, we'll go watch a movie really quickly. I know he has to, how does he flirty from punching a bag? Like, seriously. I know he has to go to work. Uh, which is gonna 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 kind of suck because I want to do the birthday party today, but we're not gonna worry about it. I could have him call in actually. I could have him call in. Let's see really quickly. He had oh he has eleven days. Yeah, we're calling in. We're calling in, um, and we're going to take a vacation day. So let me have him stop there really quickly before he has to go to work, and then I'll let him finish up. He's just gonna tell them, hey, my daughter's birthday is today. I'm gonna take off, and then that way he can kind of hang out. Ooh, London. I like this outfit, girl. <laughs> she looks like she's bored out her mind. She's like one of those Sims that she has to get out and have a good time. And I don't blame her. I'm, I'm like that in real life. Like, no kidding. Anyway, we'll just grab a serving of the popcorn. And then let's come over here and watch a movie. Let's watch. I'm like ready for some new movies, though. Let's watch Adventures of the... No, take your popcorn over here, girl. Bring your popcorn over here. Yeah, I know. We know a ton of people. We know a ton of people. We know everybody in town now. Which, honestly, it's probably fitting because she is a socialite. She is a famous football player's wife. She has, I think, 1,100, no, 176 follower, followers on her social network. So, you know, really, she should have, she should be knowing a ton more people than she does. Um, aw, he's coming in here and be like, oh, what movie are you watching? <laughs> I'm going to have him grab a serving and come in here and join her. Uh, can I watch movie with? Is there a way to watch watch adventures with her? Um, yep. Okay, so he's going to come in here and watch it with her. And this is actually kind of sweet because the kids are at school and they're just having like a nice little um, time together. And, you know, I am really liking... I know some people have been complaining about the level of... Uh, things that we've been getting or the amount of time it's taking us to get things. But honestly, as things are coming together... With the dine out, the movie stuff, the get together, the um, just the spa, I mean the, the outdoor stuff. I feel like it's really coming together as a well-rounded game. If I can get toddlers, I don't even care about cars. I know people have been complaining about cars. But if I can get toddlers just to improve like that, um, you know, the, the life, the lifespan or just improve like the um, circle, not the circle of life, but just the, the way it goes, like the cycle, the life cycle. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Then I think I'll be seasons, toddlers, and pets. And I think I'd be good. Like, I'm so serious. I think I'd be great. Um, all right, so the kids, really quickly, I'm going to have them work on their homework um, so we can get ready to go because I don't want them to go. They're going to go to this place. And if you haven't, I did a build on the lot that we're going to with my daughter. And um, we had so much fun doing it. And she came up with such great ideas. And uh, it's a really, really cute lot. Um, but it's kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese. And uh, it's owned. It's like an actual restaurant. So you can sit down and eat. But your Sims can also get up and play and interact and, and socialize with each other. So it's really, really cute. I think it would be a cute little place to have her birthday party. And uh, when I made it, me and my daughter actually came up with the idea that we should make a Chuck E. Cheese. She was a little bit disappointed by some of the gameplay not being as realistic as Chuck E. Cheese. Like she wanted a ticket redemption counter. She wanted... Um, I care. Oh, she wanted the performers. You know how you go to Chuck E. Cheese and sometimes there's people walking around in, in suits or whatever. She wanted all of that. And I was like, we can't do that. But, you know, maybe in the future, maybe in the future, you never know. So um, I'm going to put this up. Oh, it's about to spoil anyway. I'm going to just go on and clean this up. And um, okay, yeah, I know. I know April. I know. April's like the only one right now that doesn't have any kids, but they're like newlyweds. They just moved in town. So I'm not going to push it with them. But I love how the kids go, oh, it's just her. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I'm about to get a slew of text messages. Um, <laughs> I laugh when I say the word slew because me and my friends say that all the time when we're on the phone. And I'm like, how do you spell slew? 
tell me, how does one spell slew? I don't think anybody knows how to spell it. All right, little um, uh, Marley's up here just having a fit. Oh my gosh, it looks like my Dylan in real life. Um, I'm going to feed her, bounce, cuet, cuddle, uh, make a silly face, and I'm going to also rock her. And then what I'll do as soon as we finish all this and we get her all up in Anna, I'm going to go on and age her up and then we'll head to uh, the lot and I will see you guys there because I don't want to make this video super long, so I will be right back. All right, guys, we are here at, um, <laughs> why can I not remember the name of this place? Um, but it's called the Lucky Zilla, and we are here. And um, <clears throat> I actually wanted to start a club gathering, and I invited all of the kids that I can remember to invite. But really quickly, I'm just going to double check and make sure that there's not anybody we're missing. I guess we can invite um, Ellie, which is her, Dolce's little sister, and we'll invite Eric. We're just trying to invite as many kids as possible so we can have fun. And then we'll invite Elizabeth. Um, and of course, little Marley doesn't know anybody but her family members. And oh, she's immediately going in to go play with the stuffed animals. And everybody's just having a good time. So I think in order for me to get a table, I have to request a table. Um, I don't know if they'll be able to fit. I probably should have got a table first and then invited everybody because they might have us in a group setting as opposed to like by family. So I guess we'll see in a minute. But either way, we are here and oh, this TV. I was contemplating um, taking this TV out for this reason. So I'm going to just turn it off and hopefully everybody just going to go about their business. <laughs> hopefully. But um, the Hall of Famers are going to be here too. And I see Raina is here and she's here with... Uh, this is her son. I couldn't tell who this was. Oh, and Jason's here too. Oh, and he brought... So Jason and Raina are the ones... Jason was married to Alyssa, and this was the woman that he cheated on her with, and they had this kid together. So I don't know why his last name isn't Landry, but uh, that's neither here nor there. So did you get us a table? <gasps> did she get us one in the party area? Oh, gross. Are y'all seriously not going to pick this up? Okay, so they're putting us over here... Um, that's interesting. So we're actually like in the little party area, which is kind of what I had designated this area to be. So this is really cute. I like this. So we're like all in the party area. I have no idea how much this party is going to cost. <laughs> have no clue, but it really doesn't matter because it's not every day that you're on your second to last episode of uh, a series and the last baby of the series has basically been aged up she is a kid now so it's like you know who are we to sit there and say we can't um go out, out for her birthday right so um i don't even know where everybody's at uh nico's over here looks like he's oh he's hanging out with travis probably touching base with him and everything just kind of catching up they haven't really seen each other and, well, I guess they saw each other at work, but other than that, they really haven't been talking to each other. I love when they have their shirts on like this. It's just so cool. We, like, completely shut this place down. It's crazy. And then uh, we have uh, Harper here, which is so funny because I almost gave Marley that haircut, that same style. But then I realized that Dolce had it, so I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to do, do a funny introduction really quickly to everybody so she could kind of meet everybody because... Um, Oh, no, she's had her first day. Oh, no, she just aged up. So she hasn't had her first day of school yet, but it'll be nice. And here's Alexis. Alexis just came in. Oh, this is so cute. So we're going to do a funny introduction to Alexis. And then we got um, John over here, which is Kaylee and John's, I'm sorry, Kaylee and Jacob. Jacob, right? Yep, Jacob's son. Oh, golly. Do I have enough Sims for you guys on this LP? I think I do. I think I do. So anyway, um, Teresa's over here. Not Teresa. <laughs> Uh, she's over here uh, about to read a book. That is kind of funny because, oh, and Marley's excited because this is her birthday. So I'm going to see if I could summon. Um, okay, so she's coming over here to bring food. There's quite a bit of servers here. So I'm going to grab Janine Doitry and see if I could order for the table. And I would love to see how big this table is going to be because I have no idea. It, it feels like we have this whole little area, like I said, which is totally cute. Because when I made this, if you watch the, um, the, the, the build that I did, I said, me and my daughter, my daughter wanted a, a 
party area. And so we made this like a little party area. So it's just so funny that it actually worked out that way that this is totally like a party. You can't tell me this isn't a party. This is a party. So I'm gonna take a quick picture because I think this would be a cute thumbnail, especially with the guys with their shirts on and they're over here just kind of watching sports and hanging out and got the little camaraderie going. And even though Rain is in the picture, you know, uh, she was part of the series and she was a pivotal part of the series. And it's just so funny that we just so happen to be like one away. And this is, uh, she shows up and, you know, I don't even see Alyssa. Is Alyssa even here? I don't even know if Alyssa's here. Um, now she, she, well, she's at work, so maybe she's not, oh no, she should be off now, but, um, it'd be interesting to kind of see. I think she's kind of, she's definitely moved on. She's with Gage now. And, um, did we order for the group or no? Or is our, is our group too big? Is it too late? Did we, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Let's try to order for the table. Hopefully I got it now. Can I shoot her over? Is she coming or what? She's probably complaining. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We don't even have all of our kids, though. We got Dolce, but we don't have Marley and we don't have Brian. So, we're, we're getting food for other people's kids. But you know what? Let's go in and grab root beer floats for everybody. And it's fine. Like I said, I didn't know how it was going to work, but it's totally fine. And then I'll just grab... We'll just grab pizza for everybody. Uh, I'll grab pizza for the kids at least. And my daughter really wanted fish and chips in, so I'm going to get fish and chips for London because why else in the world would she want anything other than that? You know, it's just like, I would get fish and chips. So I'm going to go on and let Nico kind of uh, find a table. I'm going to have him request a table. Um... Because I don't think at this point we can sit here. Yeah, no, Nico can't sit at this table. And it's funny because it looks like the guys actually got seats. And Jason's over here eating. Unless they were already here. And uh, there's a pretzel here. So somebody obviously ordered a pretzel. And, I mean, this is, like, definitely a party area. This is so cute. So if you haven't downloaded this lot, go check it out. It's on my, um, my, my gallery ID, which is slbrown478. So definitely go check it out because I am just astound. I'm just ecstatic and astounded at how this whole little dynamic uh, is right now. So baby girl, do you need to go use the restroom? Please go use the restroom. They need to be having, oh, so all the guys are going to get chairs together. I love it. He needs to potty too. Everybody needs to potty here. And then she's sleepy, but she just aged up. So we're just, oh, who are these over here? Oh, okay. They're married. They're married. That's right. <laughs> I'm like, he's over here cheating on his wife at the Chucky, Ch at the Lucky Zilla. Um, wow. So that is so funny because if I was the owner of this lot, of course, they actually made this as tables back here, but this was supposed to be just like the little area. Did you really just walk in on my child? You perv. Are you serious? And she didn't even blink an eye or is she going to be embarrassed? She's probably going to be embarrassed. Oh, she needs some fun. Okay. That's funny. She needs fun, but okay. Um, we're like at Lucky Zilla. There's a ton of stuff to do here. Uh, I really wish that there was a way I could lock this door, even though I'm not, we're not going, we're not going, even though I'm not uh, technically the owner of the place. I will have uh, Nico kind of order uh, for the table, which I'm assuming he's going to end up doing. I might have to cheat some people's needs around here because I want them to have a good time, but I'm going to let Nico order for the table and I think he, they're going to all get some, um, you know what, let's all get root beer floats too. We're going to all get root beer floats. So as you can see, as a club dynamic, you could totally sit and go out to eat together. And then I could get them all chips and salsa, but let's just get them all hamburgers. I'm going to get some of them hamburgers, boom, 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 boom. And then I'm going to get some of them fish and chips just because I feel like that would be a good thing to do. So we got that taken care of. And we're footing the bill for everybody because we got it like that, right? You know what I mean? So they're going to go order their food really quickly. And which kid was bored? <laughs> which kid? Oh, okay. She's got our order. Okay. So we're going to eat really quickly. Um, this is so cute. Now, is Ellie going to get anything to eat? Because I don't even know. Technically, she doesn't. She has a drink in her hand. But technically, she's not um, supposed to be at our table 
Uh, can we sit here anyway? No. Okay, so you can't sit. But that's funny because we got kids over here. So can she sit here? That's crazy because, oh, wait, she's here. Okay, never mind. I'm tripping. I was thinking she wasn't part of the group, but clearly she is. This is so cute because, like, all the kids are over here eating their pizza. I got to put the walls up. Hold on. Hold on. We got to get in and get a picture. Happy birthday, Marley. Oh, it's Marley's birthday. She looks so excited, too. So we definitely need to get a cake for the table. So I'm going to uh, have um, London do that in a second here. Uh, I think I could just kind of like touch the table here and I could just say bring out a cake. But um, let's just do, uh, let's do a strawberry cake. But we're not going to put birthday candles on it. We're just going to have them bring out the cake. And then <laughs> the guys keep coming in here watching TV because, of course, they're in a group gathering. And that's one of the things they do. They watch sports and they kind of hang out or whatever. But they need to be interacting with their kids and their families anyway, if you ask me. It's always on the ladies. Speaking of which, where are the ladies? Did I not invite? I did do a group outing with the ladies. Oh, you cannot start a gathering while at a being a patron at a business. Well, that's interesting because Nico is definitely in a gathering. So I'm not sure what happened there, but that's okay. When she's finished eating, I will pay the tab and... Um, I guess we'll just go from there. But this is cute. We like completely wrecked this little area. And Brian's over here. He's so cute. A really lady, did you just throw all the plates on the floor? Oh boy. Maybe Marley will join a uh, little Brian's League of Adventurers group. I think that'll be kind of cute. So if they're done eating, I'm gonna let all oh, the kids are already over here playing. Uh, I'm going to let Marley uh, come over here and play, play with, and let's have her play with. Um, Definitely Dolce, definitely, definitely, did I say definitely, definitely Brian, and I'll just have her kind of play with her brother and sister, and um, they'll do that for a little bit, and then when the cake comes out, I will have everybody kind of come over here. Uh, Nico is feeling super tired, so I'm just going to cheat his need a little bit. I hate doing that, but then I feel like I need to do that because I don't want it to interfere with the... Um, Wait, I didn't, that's not even my kid. I'm over here talking to somebody else's kid. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm going to just go with the flow. So they're over here playing some darts. And I like the fact that this is like in a little a walled off area. This is really cute. They're like booing her and stuff like, miss, miss, miss. <laughs> that's cute though. But in a minute, we're probably going to have to go home because this is a school night and it's almost midnight. And if the curfew, if there was a curfew in this game, we'd be in trouble. Um, I'm still curious about the dine and ditch thing. Like, is that a thing? So the guys are out here. I thought we already ordered. Did we not already order? Wait to or place order with wait staff. Oh gosh, they're going to be waiting for forever because those ladies, I don't even know if they're still here. See, they're out here just goofing off. They're not even really paying attention, but you know, it is what it is. Why is it? Oh, okay. Dale isn't a part of our group. I was like, I thought that was Jacob. Out the corner of my eye, I thought that was him. Uh, did I not order the cake? Some of you are chatting it up with Elizabeth. I don't even know who Elizabeth is. Who is Elizabeth? Barnett. I don't know who that is. <laughs> but anyway, it's definitely one of the kids' friends, so it's all good. Um, I think I ordered the cake, though. I don't know. Maybe I should try again. Let's uh, bring out cake. Let's bring out a strawberry cake. I don't know if I did it or not. I have no idea. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea. And if we don't get it, then it won't be that big of a... Oh, the guys are getting their food. Good. Uh, okay. I was concerned about that. I was like, I don't want the guys to have ordered something. They're sitting out here. They got the they got the famous Hall of Famers out here eating on their patio, which is fine because it seems like they're all outside enjoying themselves. If she comes out here and throws trash... Oh, look. Uh-oh. What's wrong? Travis does not like his burger. Ooh, that's not good. Maybe he wanted the fish and chips. I apologize, Travis. My bad. Next time, order your own food. You know, like you can't get mad at, look, and <laughs> Jacob's over here like, what else they got besides these burgers? But you know, we're at a kid's birthday party, so that's what happens. So, you know, we get it, we get it where we can. So at least the guys are out here eating. All except for um, April's husband, whose name I just forgot, Adrian. I should remember that April and Adrian. So I don't know if we got a cake or we did or we didn't. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But I guess if worse comes to worse, we could just order some cupcakes 
for the table. So I'll just order some cupcakes for the table because for some reason we're not getting our cake. But we'll get, or we could get ice cream, I guess, for the kids. Let's just go ahead and get some ice cream for the kids. And I'll get them for everybody, all the kids. And then I will get um, a minty a cupcake for uh, Miss London here. And we'll go on and take care of that. And we're probably going to have to wrap it up because, like I said, these kids got school tomorrow. And um, But this was a really fun, cool little party. I don't know how it would have worked if it was actually like a birthday cake situation. I guess when your cake arrived, you would just put candles on it. But since we never got our cake... You know, that's neither here nor there, I guess, at this point. Um, are they still over here playing? They are still over here playing. Uh, who is this? Ellie. Oh, she didn't even see her. Did she see her sister? This is Dolce's sister. Um, oh, they don't even know each other. Okay. I'm going to have her go over here and uh, wait to place order with staff. Um, okay. I'm not sure what that's about. But I'm going to have her come over here and introduce herself to her sister and possibly uh, play with her. Replace Don't Wake the Llama, I guess. They could play together. I'm going to probably stop her from that and uh, go get... She's super tired, so I'm going to cheat her need really quickly. Um, I don't know how uh, that would work out, though, honestly, with um, with her mama not really touching base with her anymore like she was at the beginning. But, you know, Ellie's here, and, I mean, they do go to school together, so it's a possibility that they will see each other. And they will kind of play with each other and interact with each other. So um, brag about grades. I'm going to have her just chat it up with her for a little bit. And um, uh oh, no, wrong thing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, and then we're going to um, ask about her day. And then hopefully we'll be able to come over here and kind of play, play together. No, 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 not that one. Not that one because that'll be like a ton of kids. So I'm going to play with... Um, For Ellie, Ellie. I'm like, I forgot her name just that quick. All right, so she can go play with Ellie and kind of hang out for a little bit. But it is getting super late, so I think I'm going to probably try to wrap this up. I don't even know if the kids got their ice cream cones, but I'm going to go on and have uh, Travis go on and pay his bill. Um, what is he doing now? He's waiting to place order. We're still waiting to place order? Why didn't we just eat our food? Okay, maybe he's not hungry anymore, but I'm going to have, oh, she's bringing up. Aw, I thought I cheated these people's needs. Did I not cheat her needs? I guess not. Poor thing. It's her birthday and she's over here face down, knocked out. So do we get our cupcakes and stuff? Oh, someone actually colored on the table. That's so cute. Okay, there we go. So everybody got their cup, their ice creams and stuff like that. And I will go on and get, he is like super energized right now. Um, I'm trying not to make this long, I swear. <laughs> but, um, you know, they're over here just eating. She's over here chatting in the employee bathroom. I mean, texting in the employee bathroom. Um, and they're still over here trying to make an order. But it's funny because some of them ate and some of them didn't eat. So I'm not going to stress about it too much. Uh, but yep, I'm, oh goodness, she's over here crying. Did I not cut this off? Okay, the TV's got to go. The TV's got to go. Um, the TV's got to go, like for real. And Lennon's over here eating this cupcake like it's the only cupcake she's ever had in her life. She gobbled that thing up like it was nothing. Oh, hey, look at little Marley. She's so cute. And why is she sitting over here? Oh, the little birthday girl. I love it. Oh, that's a cute picture. Let's see if I can get her eating it really quickly. Because I'm still trying to figure out. Uh-oh. Oh, that's so cute. Uh-oh, I can't. I lost it. I lost him. I lost them. Um, so I don't even know if they were supposed to sit here or this is where they were sitting originally or what. But, you know, really, in in real in the real world, right? I mean, if this was really like a Chuck E. Cheese type environment, they're both getting like headache, cold headache thingies. Um, they would totally just be sitting anywhere eating, you know. But um, Marley probably should introduce herself to Eric. Uh, I'm going to have her do a friendly introduction. And then let's close all this stuff out because my queue is always full. And Dolce's over here with her sister Ellie, and they're kind of bonding. And Ellie has like a weird plasticky look to her, but that's just how it goes. Why do I keep wanting to do the MC Command Center? I am so sorry. Um, I wanted her to uh, do some funny uh, tell a goofy story, and then she kind of got to gets got to get. She kind of has to get to know her sister because she really hasn't. I could complain about parents. 
Oh, look, she came over here to check on the girls. That's so cute. She's probably like, okay, guys, it's time for you to go home. It's 4.17 in the morning. Oh, my gosh. Okay, um, let's go pay this tab. Um, let's see. Who can we pay? That's funny. So that's another thing they probably should put in this game um, is closing hours, right? So I'm going to go on and uh, pay the bill. And um, okay. Okay. I guess we did never got okay. That's really weird. I guess we didn't, unless one of the guys paid for the bill. I don't see how you pay for the bill. Um, but I do know that at least London for sure, for sure got food. And she probably needs to pay for the bill. So I'll have her pay for the bill. And we will go and get out of here because these kids are going to be super tired in the morning. Um, so 167 simoleons was our in the tab and it is all said and done and i think the kids had a good time london did not move from this spot but you know it's all good so we're gonna have everybody go home i'm going to end these gatherings and um all that good stuff here so everybody can go home and we'll let this establishment close these people got to get home there's no reason why a chuck e cheese type establishment called the lucky zilla should be open at 4 38 in the morning <laughs> but anyway all right guys i will see you next time thank you so much for watching we will be wrapping up this series on next episode and i don't know for sure if it'll come out next thursday or um, the Thursday after that, I try to upload well these on Thursday, of course, because today's Thursday. But um, I, I'm, I'm contemplating how I'm going to do the finale. So if I don't get it together, if I have cold feet or whatever, there is a strong possibility that... Where is my glass here? There is a strong possibility that um, it might not... Where in the world is my glass? Where is my glass? I'm sorry. I got to go correct this really quickly. I thought that there was glass here before, but now it's not here. So I'm not sure what that's about, but it's here now. All right. So anyway, I'm not sure whether I will for sure, for sure upload. I'm, I'm trying my hardest to let go of this series, but honestly, I know I'm going to miss everybody and I know I'm going to miss playing it and I know I'm going to miss like the dynamics and the groups and just everything about it. I know I'm going to miss them. So it's just, it's kind of hard, but um, I'm going to try my hardest to have the episode finalized next week. And if not, it'll be the week after next. So I apologize in advance for that, but I just want to make sure I do it justice. And I want to make sure that, um, you know, I get everybody taken care of and I, I, you know, just go from there. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.